What's up everyone, welcome back to Miami Miles. My name's Mickey. In today's video, my GT3 goes away. I know, I know, it's a bittersweet moment. I have personally been crying about it for the last couple days. But guys, if you've been following my channel, you saw my comparison where I compared that against my 765 LT Spider. And to be honest with you, the LT Spider left me absolutely speechless to the point that it moved the goal line so far down the field for what a supercar is in my eyes that I figured, why don't I sell this thing? Put $240,000 in my pocket and enjoy the Spider, enjoy the GT4. But the more I thought about this idea, the more it kind of festered in my brain, I uh, decided not to sell the car because if I sold this car, I figured I would be a little bit of a hypocrite. Like, I have talked so much, so highly, so well about this car. And to be honest with you, this was my dream car for four years. To get rid of it today would be a betrayal to myself and to you guys. So instead of getting rid of this, instead of selling the GT3, I am going to be selling my GT4. Now, news is, oh, Mickey, 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 you promised you were going to send the GT4 to demand and get the four and a half liter upgrade. Well, Johnny, I did. I did promise you that, but I figured why not upgrade the car that no one's ever done before? Why not do a project that's going to be so spectacular, so unique, that's going to make me want to keep this car forever? So, this car will be making its way up to New York to get the four and a half liter upgrade from demand that means ladies and gentlemen that car is going to make upwards of 600 horsepower the only gt3 touring of its kind so today the transport's coming to pick it up but before it gets taken away i'm going to go for a little bit of a drive and uh, kind of talk you through what the mods are going to be and why i'm so excited to get this done Baby. Clutch in. Uh, GT3, get a load of this. That sound, baby! That is ridiculous! That right there is why I can't get rid of this car. First gear, dude. Every decision in life is about the money. This thing, it provides so much emotion, so much soul. But after comparing it to the 765 LT Spider, I did feel like it was missing something. I felt that the 765 LT is just such a spectacular car, albeit it's, I believe, three times the price of this thing. It just gives you that ultimate level of super car performance that this thing honestly can never give you. Now, that's not to say that's a better daily driver or a, or a more immersive experience in this car because I don't think it is. I think this car is, bar none, the best day-to-day -day experience in history. Watch this first gear. Like this thing pulls. It does have power. You can feel why these things run in the high 10 second quarter miles. Like it really pulls and it pulls hard and it does pin you back to your seat. But honestly guys, I wanted to build something that no one's ever done before. And after this car is done, after this thing gets the four liter from the man, it'll be the only one that's ever been built. And hopefully I motivate some of you guys to get the build done as well. But I am so hyped to have a one of one touring with over 600 horsepower. Now, what does that mean in terms of the mods? What are they gonna have to do to this thing to make that much power? Well, for those of you not familiar with demand, I'll go ahead and link down their Cayman GT4 modification for their 4.5 conversion on that. Um, so that way you guys can check it out. But basically they take the engine out, they bore and stroke it, they, they add you know some upgraded parts and I'm not too familiar with what that is. I will be by the time this process is done, but they, they upgrade the engine, they change the clutch, the flywheel, they throw on some headers, and they make this thing into an absolute monster. 
there is an actual video of um, a GT3 RS running on a dyno and it makes over 600 horsepower. Could you imagine a GT3 with that soundtrack, with that engine response, with that manual gearbox, with over 600 horses? Well, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly what I've been imagining. I have been imagining it in my head and I know I gotta do this because literally I've been mentally masturbating about this for the better part of a week. And I finally spoke to Rick yesterday and somehow they got me a transport one day later today so the guy will be here in a couple minutes i wanted to take this thing around the block because this is the first time i'm going to be able to drive this in the next eight to ten weeks so let me head back home get this thing loaded up and uh yeah i'm gonna have to drive my 765 lt every day but anyways see you back at the house this is the uh, last time that these two cars Together for the better part of two months so yeah pretty sad but f***ing excited f***ing excited baby the old daily driver the new daily driver gt4 uh in case you guys are wondering is currently getting the rest of the little issues resolved at the collection you guys remember that i bought that car and it had um all little problems so it's over there getting fixed. Once I get it back, I'm gonna sell it and do a video on that, obviously kind of do an exit interview. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna wait now for a minute until the uh, transport guy gets here to put this thing on the demand trailer. But before I do, damn, 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 damn. All right, trailer's here. That's <laughs> where my car is gonna be going. Alright guys, the car is in the trailer. Finally, it's time for them to embark up to New York and take this thing to demand. They should be there in a couple short days, um, but I'm honestly really excited to bring you guys this content. I'm going to try to immerse you in this experience of building the ultimate GT3. I'm going to miss it. But not only do I want to build the ultimate GT3, I want something that's unique. I want something that I could bring to the channel that I can compare against everything to see you know, if anything can usurp the greatest car in history with an additional 100 or so horsepower. Think about that for a minute, another 100 horsepower in this thing. I have a feeling this is gonna be spectacular. So, if you're interested in uh, watching a bunch of demand content, watching this thing get the 4.5, documentation of the entire journey, go down below. Give me a thumbs up, give me a subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care.